Yo, what's going on, Retro Gamers? It's your boy, Sid Retro, and I'm here. I wanted to do a video for you guys real quick. I just wanted to do my top five Wii U games. Now, these are just top five Wii U games that I played, that I like, that I enjoy. You know what I mean? When people come over to my crib, we throw these joints on and get the party started. So, uh, I hope you guys like this list. I'm going to start with uh, number five. We're going to go with... Lego City Undercover. Now, Lego City Undercover. This game is official, man. I've never played any Lego game before. I know they've, they've been putting them out since like the PS2. You know, Lego Star Wars, Lego Indiana Jones. You know, what if? But uh, yeah, so I finally broke, you know, once the Nintendo Selects titles dropped out, I started looking into, you know, seeing, how, seeing what it was. So Lego City Undercover picked it up. This is epic. This is just like Grand Theft Auto Lego City Undercover. Pretty much what it is. And the humor is epic in here. The characters, the dude's name is Chase McCain. It's like 70s, uh, I don't know, it's like 70s, 80s adult humor. It's real like retro throwback. Um, lots of missions, lots of fun. Uh, I like it, man. You should definitely check this out. If, you're gonna, if you've never played any Lego games, check out Lego City Undercover. This will be this. You will have fun, and your kids can play it too. All right, now number four we got here is Super Mario 3D World. Now Super Mario 3D World is another Nintendo Select, so 20 bucks you can't go wrong with that. Pick up Nintendo Select. But yeah, Super Mario 3D World. This is one of the best Mario games. One of the best new Mario games. This is my favorite out of all of them. This is my favorite. I love the Tanuki, the suits in here, the double Mario's, the quadruple Mario's, cat Mario. This They have like the uh, Tracker Toad little mini games in here. I mean, this is just awesome. Uh, plus I love the way that they included the uh, gamepad, the mechanics in here. They have one level where you have to press these blocks on the gamepad but they show up on the screen, so once you hit them, then you can use them on the screen to jump up and go other places and stuff. And then they have another one where you have to blow into the mic, and this little like platform fan thing like goes over there or whatnot. Yo, know, super fun, and for all four players, all four people can play on screen at the same time. Plus you can do doubles and stuff, so it gets crazy. Trust me, 3D, Super Mario 3D World, official. Go ahead and cop that. 20 bucks, just like Lego City Undercover, all right? So number three, number three, we got, wait, yeah, so for number three, I don't own a physical copy of this, so I can't show you the box art or anything like that, but it's going to be Super Smash Brothers. I mean, come on, Super Smash Brothers is epic. You know, what can I possibly say about Super Smash Brothers? It's epic. There's a whole bunch of uh, characters in there, you know, run smooth, pick up Super Smash Brothers. All right, that was my number three. So number two, we got coming up is Mario Kart 8. Now this is one of my favorite Mario, I think, no, matter of fact, this is the best Mario Kart of all time. I said it, but it's my opinion though, so you don't have to agree. Some people think Double Dash is official, but Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, if they pull the Double Dash with the double, um, when you just hold two items at once, what? Mario Kart 8 Deluxe might take the title for the best Mario Kart game ever made. But if you have people over and they're familiar with Mario Kart, throw this on, four players all at the same time, to get the party started. Now, I got one more game. This is going to be the number one game uh, for the Wii U that I enjoy. And it's going to be none other than Mario Maker. I mean, this is just tons of fun. If you ever wanted to make your own Mario levels or uh, you know, make levels to kill other people, this is it right here. This is fun. Everyone loves coming over and playing and making a new Mario level for other people to try to beat. Um, I like the online playing when you try to, you know, play for other people in Japan, USA. Hey, man. So, yeah, Super Mario Maker, definitely got to pick that up. Definitely got to pick up Super Mario Maker. So that was, on, I mean, uh, yeah, Super Mario Maker is number one. Now, I, that's, so, to cap it all off, we got Super Mario Maker, Mario Kart 8, Super Mario 3D World, Super Smash Brothers, and Lego City Undercover. Those are my top five. But I also wanted to throw you guys a couple honorable mentions. So I have here, the first honorable mention 
is going to be New Super Mario Brothers U and New Luigi U. Only reason it's an honorable mention is because I have not played it yet. It's still in the plastic, but I've heard nothing but good, good uh, things about this one. So I will be definitely checking this out right here. I think it goes as Luigi U, 82 all new challenging courses. That's insane. It's about time Luigi had another game. So that's my first honorable mention. My second one is going to be Bayonetta 2. Bayonetta 2, come on, come on. Exactly. But yeah, Bayonetta 2, this was one of the well, this was one of the first games that I saw on the Wii U that made me say, I want a Wii U. This is epic. I loved it. And it comes with Bayonetta 1. So you get Bayonetta 1 and 2 for the price of one. I think it's like 30 bucks, maybe $25. Definitely pick this up if you like happy slashes, you know, Devil May Cry type shit. Pick it up. Alright, and then the last honorable mention that I got for you guys is gonna be Batman. Arkham Edition. Uh, wait, Batman Arkham Armored Edition. So basically, this is just like a game of the year edition type thing where they added all the DLC, but they also, Nintendo, added so they included the um, the game pad. This is epic. The way that they, they included the game pad into the gameplay on this is one of the best examples of why you need a game pad in your game. This is just epic. I've heard Resident Evil um, is they do a good game pad uh, thing too. But yeah, Arkham. Yo, if you like Batman and you have a Wii U, just buy this. Just go ahead and just pick it up. This is a this is a great game. But uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys, man. Those are my top five. Those are my little honorable mentions in there. I know some people are gonna say Splatoon, but um, when I have people come over. And I'm playing a game, no one really wants to play Splatoon. They're like, oh, what is that? Let's play Mario Kart. So, you know, that does have an effect on my, on, on how I grid games, because I like the people to come over and we all get to play at the same time. Kind of like an arcade type thing, you know? But, um, yeah, so let me know what, what are your favorites. You know, comment, hit me up on RetroGamer727 or RetroSid on uh, YouTube. All right, guys, later.